Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about reflection on learning. This will be the second quarter topic week 2 and day 4 and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain how the arrangement of subatomic particles determines the stability and the behavior of the atom The second one is to simulate the interaction between the protons, neutrons, and electrons in the atom And the third one is to appreciate the significance of atomic structure in understanding broader chemistry concepts. And for the learner's takeaways, prompt the students to write a summary of the structure of an atom and the properties of subatomic particles. Discuss the key points as a class, reinforcing the importance of each subatomic particles. And for the structure of an atom, the atom is composed of a central nucleus and surrounding electron shells. So the nucleus located at the center of the atom contains the neutrons and the protons. Electron shells surround the nucleus and contain electrons that orbit the nucleus. The following are the properties of subatomic particles. So the first one is the protons, which are positively charged, reside in the nucleus, and determine the atomic number and identity of the element. Another properties of subatomic particles is the neutrons, which have no charge, are also located in the nucleus and contribute to the atomic mass and stability of the nucleus. Another properties of subatomic particles is the electrons. It is a negatively charged and orbit the nucleus in electron shells and play a crucial role in chemical reaction and bonding. The following are the significance of arrangement. So the arrangement of the subatomic particles is significant for the stability and the behavior of the atom. The stability of the nucleus is maintained by nuclear forces that hold protons and neutrons together with neutrons preventing the repulsion between the protons. The configuration of electrons in different shells determines the chemical properties and reactivity of the element. So valence electrons or the electrons in the outermost shell are particularly important for chemical bonding. And for the reflection on learning, ask the students to reflect on how understanding the atom structure helps in comprehending broader chemistry concepts. Encourage self-assessment by asking and set personal goals for mastering atomic structure concepts. And afterwards, ask the question, what new information did I learn today about the atom? 